why you should smoke wings on a Kamado style grill. They're absolutely delicious. The reason I like doing it is because you get that smoky flavor on the inside and some of that crispy skin when you get that grill a little bit hotter. So today, I'm gonna tell you why you should do it and we'll talk about how. Let's do it. One of the main reasons why you should smoke wings on a Kamado style grill is because it's pretty easy. Say you got the game at four o'clock, we got the playoffs this weekend, and really all I did was just get some buffalo sauce. I used Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo sauce, and I just coated the wings in them and let them sit in the fridge for two, three hours. Um, I'm actually gonna get rid of a lot of this sauce. Some will be left on the wing, so I can apply a dry rub, and that's the way you're gonna get that heat on the inside, but also that dry rub, nice skin on the outside that will get extra crispy on the Kamado Joe. So um, this is how I prep my wings, and uh, I'll show you how I apply the dry rub. All right, so here is our rub mixture we're gonna make. So I got this bone sucking sauce. It's for steak, but I love it on chicken too. It basically says put it on anything and we're talking serious. So I took two tablespoons of this. It's more of a savory garlic, salt, pepper, some paprika in there. And I mixed it with this touch of cherry barbecue rub. So this has a lot of sweetness in it. So what I'm thinking is I got the wings in a buffalo sauce, got the heat, got a nice uh, texture to this rub, also brings the bit of salt and pepper to the party and then you got this sweetness so hopefully we'll have a good balance of the smoke flavor salt sweet delicious and it has a nice depth of flavor so mix it up right here i'm gonna go ahead and put it in this shaker and we'll get started all right so i've got some paper towel here on an oven pan and i am just going ahead and putting the wings directly on here so some of the excess sauce gets knocked off the sauce will act as a binder for our dry rub that we have ready to go. But I do wanna get rid of this sauce, um, not all the way, but at least the excess. So when you do go buy your wings from Publix or any grocery store that you go to, that's what we have here in Atlanta, um, I always ask the butcher to clean up the wings for me. So essentially get rid of some extra fat, separate the wings, the flats from the drumsticks, as well as get rid of any excess. So it makes it a lot easier when you get home. You can just throw these in with a, your marinade and you are ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then get them over to this rack over here and we'll go ahead, add the dry rub. So we've got our wings out right now. I am applying the rub and you'll notice, you'll still see some buffalo sauce on the wings there, but we're gonna be smoking these low and slow. So that extra moisture, I'm not worried about because you do have some people that when they make wings, they want them to be pretty dry, then you add oil or like a Dijon mustard, and then you add your dry rub. But we're gonna be using the buffalo sauce as kind of our binder here. And since it's going for two to three hours at 225, um, I think the extra moisture will be no problem. All right, we've got our wings ready to go here. I've added the dry rub to both sides. One quick tip here, do not, and I mean do not, leave your chicken out on the counter. So you always gonna wanna put that back in the fridge. And it's not like meat where you want it to get to room temp before it hits the grill. Chicken's one of those things, just always keep it cold or hot, not in between. So we're gonna get these in the fridge and let's get the grill started. All right, here's our setup. We got a Kamado Joe, Big Joe 2. Got some strike of fire here to get the uh, grill started. Got some applewood chunks as well. So that'll give it a little bit of flavor and then got the Royal Oak hardwood lump charcoal. So we'll go ahead and get this started. There we go, not too much. Notice I'm putting it mostly on the left-hand side, so I really want that smoke to come in and over. We're gonna put a deflector uh, right here, so that smoke will really kind of just keep going like uh, left to right. And then we're gonna not put a deflector shield on the left-hand side, and we'll be get that direct heat um, when we wanna make these a little bit crispy before serving. So to get it started, we've got our charcoal in. I go ahead and take these strike of fire starters. I got them just from Home Depot. I think they're about eight bucks, and I'm, I'm still on my first package. Maybe means I need to cook more, but I'm um, about halfway through, feeling pretty good about it. So I kind of just dig it in here, add a lot of pieces around it, uh, make sure that a fire does get started. Got a blowtorch here. Go ahead and start a blowtorch. You can just use a lighter if you'd like. And as I mentioned, gonna leave this open for about 10 minutes. It'll get, um, it'll get going and get rid of that thick smoke. And then we'll go ahead and close it and get it up to temp. It's been about 10 minutes. The thick smoke is almost gone, but I just want to talk about the vents here. So right now it's wide open on the top. And as I close this KJ here, we'll go ahead and lock it. 
And a couple things to notice, I haven't put the wood in just yet because I am gonna wait until I put in all the grates uh, before I put the wood in there. On the top here, I'm gonna keep it wide open. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wait till this gets to about 175 and we got a good momentum. And then I'm gonna close it to about this right here, that line right there. And then the bottom, I'm gonna close till about I don't know about an inch or a little bit less really want to lock it in at 225 and then give it about five ten minutes to get up to to stay at 225 and uh, I feel good about it then I will put the grates in and get going all right so we're about 225 here's our setup I'm gonna go ahead and put one of the deflector plates here only on the right side and then we'll go ahead and set up the grates Usually you can put like a drip pan of some sort on there as well. Um, this time I'm not, I'm about to clean my grill, which basically means I'm gonna put a lot of charcoal in and let it get up to 800, 900 degrees, really clean off all this residue. It's about time, um, but yeah, so that is our setup. Deflector plate on this side, that's open over there. And what I'll actually do, haha, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm actually gonna put this on the lower side here. So one second, go ahead and set this up on the lower setting. So now we get even closer to the fire. So when we're ready to really crisp up the wings, we'll put it on the lower setting here. We'll smoke on this side. We got the wings here. They've been on for about two hours. Gonna go ahead and temp them. So let me turn this on. Temp just a couple of them. Uh, oh, poke them here. There we go. So we're at 137, so I'm getting pretty hungry. So you're allowed to do this. And actually, real quick, I just wanna check the other side. I decided not to flip them, and yeah, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Uh, not go through the hassle. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the grill up a little bit more so the left side gets a lot of really hot grate there. So we're gonna take these from, um, once he's hit about 150, we'll take and put them on the left-hand side here, let them get crispy, and then we're ready to eat. We've reached 158 to 165 on these wings. They're looking fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and put them over here and then uh, let them crisp up just a little bit. And I'm actually gonna flip them when I do that. All right, so we've got the wings on the hot side of the grill right now, and it is definitely flaming up. So only want to be there for about 30 to 45 seconds just to get that last crispiness, and then I'm going to bring them over here. Perfect. So. All right, so we've got the wings. They're done. Uh, got a little bit crispy at the end there. I really do not let it go longer than 40 seconds. Uh, there'll be a little bit of burnt one, so learn from me. Um, I'm still gonna love and enjoy eating that. So these are ready to go. I don't usually like to wait any longer. Um, we'll give them a try. All right, here we go. Oh wow, definitely crispy. Mm. Right away the rub. It starts with the salt and the pepper, and then that sweetness comes in. But really the smoke is what kind of ties it all together. Really delicious. You can see some of the smoke ring here. Um, man, that's a good wing. So we just wrapped up the cook and the wings turned out incredible. A couple things to note here. So during the video I said, you wanna get the wings on the smoke side, uh, on the indirect heat side to 150. I actually got them up to 165. The grill got a little bit hot, but that's okay. And then when you put them on the crispy side or when you want to get them crispy and you put them on the hot side of the grill, um, you're going to want to do that pretty quick. I mentioned no longer than 40 seconds, maybe even 30 seconds just to get that nice grip. Some of them got burnt. Learn from me. Not a problem. A couple other things. I've sous vide wings before, then fried them. I've sous vide, then grilled. I've just grilled. 
the best tasting wing I can get is smoking it and then putting it on the hot side of the grill to get crispy. I can't get a better taste because that smoke flavor really means the world when it comes to wings. And they were just absolutely juicy and they tasted delicious. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully I can do more of these and uh, thank you for checking it out.